So if you like black and white woodland photography, then this is video for you. In today's video, we're going to be checking out Ilford Delta 3200 with woodland photography and also using a green filter. Come along for the journey because it's going to be a beautiful walk with me, my camera and my son Eddie. I hope you enjoy the video. Dad's channel. Dad came here for a channel and his channel. He came here for a channel because he just wanted some more videos and channels and pictures. I didn't bring any dogs, did you bring some dogs? No, but to show you why. In a minute, just bear with me. See, Welcome to the channel. My name's Stephen Milner and I'm a landscape photographer from New Zealand. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing some black and white woodland photography. Mm. Now, woodland photography is something that I've struggled with in the past and that just means that I need to practice it. So that's what we're gonna to do today. And there's one thing about New Zealand woodland, um, woodlands is that Ooh. I really struggle with the colors. Um, I just, when I look at woodland photography, I just see, uh, I just uh, I see a mess, a complex mess of colour. So I think to try and improve my woodland photography, if we take out the colour from the equation and we just do some black and white photography, I think that's going to help. So there's a little nature walk where I live here in Perongia, um, just off the side of Perongia mountain. Um, I've been here before, there's a bit of a stream and a bit of a path. Uh, I think there could be some compositions here, so we're just going to have a walk around. I still need to decide what film I'm going to use. I brought with me some Kodak Trix 400 and some Ilford Delta uh, 3200 Pro. So yeah, we'll have a look, see what the light meter says. Probably going to try out my green filter a little bit and yeah, just see, just see what happens. So let's go for a walk and let's do some photography. Why are you keeping that there? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. So just a bit of a heads up for my subscribers. Um, oh, before we get into that, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone. Uh, of all the comments that I've received recently on my images, it's been mind blowing um, on my images and my videos. So I'm really appreciative of, of those comments and thank you very much. I just want to give you guys a bit of a heads up that I'm going to be doing a video in uh, soon. Um, and it's a video that's going to talk about uh, a bit of a change. I'm going through quite a bit of a significant change in my life right now. Um, it's a bit of a sad story, um, but there is a sense of hope and adventure, so I'm trying to make it into a bit of a positive thing. Um, but it's really important that I tell this story because it's going to impact my future videos and it's going to be part of my life. And I want you guys to be on board with this story and I want you to understand it um, because the future is going to be quite exciting. Um, so yeah, just a bit of a heads up and watch out for that video. So now, let's go and do some landscape photography and see if we can make something of this chaos uh, woodland photography stuff. Come on, let's go. Well, oh, look at this. What? The Rimu tree. The native New Zealand tree, an evergreen. It's a Rimu. And it's a giant tree. So how's it about to take a photograph of this? Yeah. Does it sound good? Uh, we've got our wide angle lens on and we're trying to emphasise mm. the grandeur of this tree. What do you reckon? That sounds Let's good. Do it. Yeah. We have to do it. Wait, is that, that, is that the tree? This is the tree right here. That's pretty big, doesn't it? Yeah. That, that is close to space. Do you know what I think we should do? I reckon we should put on my wide angle lens and we should angle up and take a photo and see if we can emphasise. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Let's do that here. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've got my Mia 6 here with a 50mm lens and I've loaded in Ilford Delta 3200. I've just metered the scene with my light meter. We're at f11, we're shooting at box speed and I've taken a meter reading from the darkest area and I've taken a meter reading from the brightest area. I've averaged it out and it came up to 125th second exposure and I'm going to add one stop of exposure compensation. So we're going to go for 60th of a second, f11. I'm going to put on a green filter now because there are some green leaves up there and I want to see what this green filter does, see if it brightens those green leaves. For this one we're going to add two stops of exposure compensation, so we're going to go to 1 15th of a second, and there we go. What a beautiful Rimu tree, it's very tall. So we just made our second shot here, and I think this shot could be a great test for that green filter, because we've got lots of green leaves, um, and underneath the green leaves we've got quite a dark floor. And it's a very simple shot, it's quite a close-up shot of all these green leaves taken with my 50mm lens. And I've taken uh, two images, one without the green filter, one with the green filter. Um, the first shot was 15th of a second and the second shot was uh, fourth of a second. Um, so I had an exposure compensation as needed. And yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out. So hopefully those leaves are very nice and bright and surrounded with uh, a very dark background. So we'll continue and see what we find. Uh, this forest is getting much denser and has definitely a kind of like a tropical feel to it. You might be able to see behind me here there's ferns and all sorts of stuff. Vines. Yeah, it's a complex forest. So hopefully we'll get some good photos. Fingers crossed. So I've just found this amazing tree just here now and it's kind of leaning on its side. It's got all these really gnarly branches that come off and I really love it. Um, and I really struggled to get a composition on this one because there's a few low level trees surrounding it that are blocking blocking some of the nice branches but I've, I think I found a composition that works. So I've got my 50mm lens on here and it's angled up again as you can see. I've got my light meter, we're at f8 and just checking 3200 on the light meter and I'm just going to take a meter reading off some of the leaves up there, there's some backlit leaves so I'm just going to do that quickly. It's giving me 80th of a second, um, but I'm actually going to add one stop of exposure compensation to that. Um, so that's giving me, I'm going to go for, on my camera, I'm going to go for 30th of a second. And then I'm going to do that shot and then we'll just do that one now quickly. And then we're going to put a green filter on and hopefully this green filter will make some of those backlit uh, leaves stand out really brightly. So we're just screwing the filter on now. I'm going to change our exposure to eighth of a second, and that's it. Seven shots done. You ready? You ready to climb up there? You ready? Climb up, Spider-Man. Look, 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 look. It's a bit slippy, so be careful. Hey, come! I looked on the board and looked at that bit too slippy. You're going to stand up. Oh, yeah. Don't slip. I got the power! <laughs> How about that? That was cool, eh? Well, I just found another gnarly little tree. I don't know what it is today, but I just keep seeing these really gnarly trees. And it's just behind me here, you can just see it just there. And it's hanging over this walkway that goes over a river. And um, it's got all these other plants, I don't know what they are. Fern type or some sort of reed, like a, like a long grass. It's got these kind of long grasses growing off the, off the tree and the roots of all the long grasses are just dangling down and it's got lots of mood and atmosphere and it kind of reminds me a little bit of images I would associate with perhaps South Carolina or South America, possibly just making that up, but I feel like I've seen images like this uh, from South America in the, in the swamp areas. So yeah, cool image, did the same again without the filter and then one with the green filter 50 millimeter lens looks pretty special what down here shall we hey. so this was an awkward composition <laughs> 
As you can see, my camera's really low down to the ground here. And with it being a rangefinder camera, I was on my knees kind of bending upwards trying to see through the viewfinder to compose this shot. What we have here is a very tall tree. I'm not sure what tree it is. It could be a Rimu. Um, or it could be an oak. It looks different to the Rimu ones. Um, but what struck me about this tree is this rata vine that kind of starts at the bottom and has attached itself um, to the tree but this rata vine is obviously so old because it's it's quite a thick it's got quite a thick chunk to it a thick uh, trunk to it and it just kind of bends out from the tree of it as it's obviously buckled off its own weight and it's just grabbing onto the tree at the top and then to the side of this tree there's another tree that's growing that's starting to surround the tree so we've got all these objects and elements that are kind of converging and becoming one with each other and I really like that compositionally um, so I've got my 50mm lens on here just come on here ready don't kick the tripod matey Ooh, there we go Are you enjoying yourself mm -hmm. so we've just we've just composed it um, we haven't taken the shot yet I've just with my meter here I've just taken a meter reading we're at f11 I saw 3200 I'm using the hyperfocal approach to focusing so that should give me the maximum depth of field um, I've added one soft exposure compensation Funny. so we're at 15th of a second Funny. and Funny. we're going to take Funny. this shot Funny. now Funny. that's one shot done ma. 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 and I'm just going to screw in the green filter why do you tell my subscribers a joke? Yeah. One of your famous jokes? Okay, um, what do you call a dinosaur with no eyes? What do you call a dinosaur with no eyes? I don't know. <laughs> a Deepakisaurus. Ooh, it's a what, cracker. What do, you, what do you call a dinosaur with no eyes? Superstar! <laughs> so I've just put the green filter on here and I've added two stops of exposure compensation. We're just gonna Deepakisaurus Rex. Take that shot. And that's it. It's nice to be able to sit down for a while and take a shot. Usually I'm standing. How many's we've done? Have another joke? We've got one more shot and then we're finished and we can go. Sound good? So we'll find one more composition. Did you helping me lots with these compositions? Wait, wait, first. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go. So we have just taken our final shot and I spent a lot of time trying to find this one and I really wanted to try and test this green filler that I've got so I picked a subject that is very green that's surrounded by a lot of dark objects and I've gone for a kind of traditional type, you know, fern type shot and I put my 75mm lens on, it was uh, f8 with a green filter on and it was a half a second exposure. Um, it was quite a tricky, tricky kind of composition to set up because my 75mm lens, the closest I can focus is one meter. So my tripod here is set quite high um, and being F8 and being kind of like the maximum you know, focus capability of the lens, it'd be interesting to see what the uh, depth of field is like. But yeah, simple shot and very much enjoyed it today. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how the photos are going to turn out. So we're going to head back to the car now and make our way home. Are you going to press the buttons? No, I'll show you which buttons. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you. Come on. I'll show you. I'll show you. Don't worry. Right, see what happens? Oh, it's coming up red. So, when I press the rest, we're going to press all of them. So, we've just arrived back at the car. I'm going to head home now and I'm going to develop this film. I'm going to develop it using Ilvatech DDX. I haven't yet worked out what the solution mixture is going to be, but I'll refer to the massive dev chat app and I will post that information up. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the images and uh, please leave a couple of comments and subscribe to the channel. If you like what I'm doing, please like the video if you like the images and the video, that would be awesome, greatly appreciated. I hope you have a fantastic week and the rest of your day is great. Speak soon, bye for now.